Data is information, and everyone in the organization needs access to information. I think data is a picture, kind of defining the large community. So I'm, I'm not sure how many districts in the country launched the new strategic plan during COVID, but we did. And uh, as strong believers of strategic planning, we just knew that there's really no better time than right now to get really intentional about what our priorities are going to be over the next several years in order to be in a position where we can rebound from this pandemic much better. I think a lot of times people believe data as being punitive because data um, in New York State has, you know, aligned itself to be somewhat punitive, like in, in a rating system. But we know as educators that there's so many other factors that determine the success of a district than the test scores. You know, we could look at data of how students are feeling with the, you know, social emotional uh, part of their life, because in essence, we want to educate the whole child. So data has to be looking at every aspect of our students and just seeing what makes them tick to figure out what we can do to move them forward. I think data is a um, kind of a negative word in the district at this point. It's associated with evaluation. We need to change that, which is why we are talking about a data culture, because we have to embrace everyone's perspective on it. But looking at all these different pieces of information to inform what's working and what's not, that to me is the data system. The more I started to think about Newberg being an organization that is responsive and responsive to what and to who, the more I started to realize how much time was being spent on packaging the data versus the strategy and the story work that I would prefer our educators and leaders spending their time. And so I noticed that we lack some systems. I realized that we needed to build some capacity among various divisions and personnel in order to really move the needle here. We want to empower individuals to be able to make those informed choices, to really have an understanding what's happening. And we want everybody in the system to understand that and understand how to do it themselves. So it's not just us at district office or the principal of the building knowing and housing and warehousing this data, but it's sharing of it and then teaching individuals how to utilize it to benefit themselves and our scholars. Teachers obviously use data to drive their instruction. It's constantly just analyzing and seeing how each child does when you ask a question. Whereas, you know, our student support team might look at it and, you know, may ask students different questions, different probing questions, but you know, it's gonna be related on how they feel, what's going on at home, and really just taking all of that out. So all of that data, that we are getting from it isn't just the data from the test. It's not just the data of classwork. And we have to look at it from a holistic approach. We want to create a Renaissance child. And that Renaissance child, that Renaissance student is going to have their hands in every aspect in the educational realm in order to be successful. component that we have not done in the past was we've included social workers and we've included psychologists and we included a guidance counselor because they're critical in the uh, work that needs to be done to support the whole child. So I think the understanding and the valuing of everyone's role in the Vanguard team has really increased people's understanding of how they play into outcomes for kids. Now they see where they, they fit into this particular model, whereas they didn't before we started those conversations. It's not just one person and one person from each building. It's an eclectic team that's going to work together, have a true understanding, and then be able to bring that back to their building. And I think that it has also helped me to listen to everyone, to say, oh, I like that idea. You know what? I haven't done that. And to recognize that that's something that I may not know. That's something that I may, may not know how to do. So I'm going to learn from you. One aha moment that I've had is that I'm not the only one that finds not having a data culture to be a challenge. So there's alignment right now in, in folks feeling like, yes, this is absolutely a priority and some really good feedback right now on being part of this work and helping to shape it as we move forward. You know, I can use that information to say, hey, I really like where this is going. The, the conversations are very, very rich, which they are. Or we need more voices from this stakeholder group. And so let's reach out and make sure we're also hearing from them. 
And there's also a real commitment from multiple levels and people in the organization that feel like, you know, I'm part of something special. So I'm excited every time we come together. So my hope would be a data culture that is alive, sustainable, aligned, looking through the lens of equity and inclusion, and also responsive. My hope is that as a result of the Vanguard team, that when we go to implement, that there's already connection and engagement that's been done. So it's not just Roberto giving a speech on the opening day of we're implementing a data culture. It would be teacher talking to teacher, colleague talking to colleague and embracing it from their perspective. I want to hear it from the teacher. I want to hear it from the kid. I want to hear it from the parent. That's what I think is going to result from this particular process because we're designing it with these voices in mind and the involvement of these individuals and then we'll implement. And I hope that the work that we're putting in together now as you know as a part of this team is something that is going to be sustainable and that we can be a model district and really to look at it and for people to see how data can be used to drive every decision that's being made in the district and having that knowledge be our driving force to truly create individuals who are going to be lifelong learners, who are going to be able to take that and pass it on to their next generation. So I kind of see like all of our goals of the strategic plan are here within our different divisions. But in order for us to live that vision, I see the data as the thread through all of them. That will help us align because we're going to be saying, okay, well, is it aligned to the data? Does the data show us that that's a decision? And if we keep with that lingo and that language, and keep that common thread, I think we'll be more successful. We have to tell our own story and we have to rewrite the narrative. And part of focusing on a data culture is exactly that, is that cultures reveal values, mental models, priorities. And there's always gonna be competing priorities, but when we can drill down to how we do business in the spirit of supporting children, I'm convinced whether it's this district or any other district in New York or the country, you'll be far better when you can take a look at efficiency coupled with responsible organizations. Mm -hmm.